Hello everyone, and welcome to our course Manual and Automation Software Testing with the help of ChatGPT. Thank you for joining this video, and let's get started. With the emergence of artificial intelligence, it's increasingly used in various areas of life. In this course, we'll focus our attention on how ChatGPT can be useful for a manual software tester or a tester who would like to automate with the help of AI. Up front, we must warn you that ChatGPT is not a magic wand that will do all the work for you. But with some knowledge of manual testing and automation testing, by leveraging ChatGPT's capabilities, testers can improve efficiency, effectiveness, and innovation in their testing processes, ultimately contributing to the delivery of high-quality software products. To use ChatGPT for software testing in this way, we have prepared this course, which consists of different aspects of manual and automation testing in which the QA engineer can use this tool for testing purposes. Getting the prompts right is one of the most important things in using ChatGPT, so the course will start with answering the question how to launch and start using ChatGPT. Once you become familiar with the usage of the tool, we'll proceed to delve into how to use ChatGPT for manual software testing. In particular, we'll familiarize ourselves with such aspects of using ChatGPT for manual software testing as 1. Review software business requirements Assistance with building the test plan Assistance with test monitoring and control Assistance with test design of manual test cases Assistance with writing a bug report. Assistance in API testing. Assistance in creating test tables, lists. Assistance in writing SQL queries. Assistance with data generation. Each of these aspects of using ChatGPT for software testing is shown in real-life examples to better understand the purpose of using this tool. Also, in the course, we'll discuss the top three AI alternatives to ChatGPT for software testing. In particular, we'll take a look at alternatives such as BART AI by Google, Bing AI by Microsoft, and ChatSonic AI by WriteSonic. Considering how these AI tools help in solving the same testing tasks such as user story and test case creation, correction of code, and test data generation. We'll also consider several features inherent in each tool. These lectures cover the manual part of the course. However, it's just halfway through the journey. In today's world, manual testers are increasingly receiving requests from clients regarding the automation of testing, particularly test cases. Of course, to become a QA automation engineer, you need to start your QA career from scratch and gain deep knowledge in this area. However, with the help of AI, particularly ChatGPT, a manual QA engineer can learn how to successfully write and then run the test script for the desired test case within one or a few days. For that reason, we have prepared the next part of the course, which is about how to use ChatGPT for automation software testing. In particular, you will first overview the lecture on how to write and run a Selenium Java test case with ChatGPT. Each lecture from the part of the course on using ChatGPT for automation software testing is shown on our website testing101.net, where we created separate components to show everything in practice. For each of our lessons, we created a separate class in the IntelliJ IDEA integrated development environment, so it will be easier for you to find the code you need in the future. The final code will be available in the lecture materials and on our website testing101.net. Using this code, we can open our web page, run it, and check the results. The goal of the automation part of the course is to show how a manual tester, if necessary, can automate a test case with the help of AI, namely ChatGPT, in a fairly short period of time. Of course, it will not be perfect, but it can be a good addition to your work as a QA engineer. Usually, this is not done in one click, even with the help of ChatGPT. That is why we have prepared topics in which you need to have at least basic knowledge in order to be able to automate with ChatGPT, namely How to set up the testing environment, XPath basis, HTML basis, Selenium web driver basis, TestingNG or JUnit basis. We are going to show you first 
all of these topics in the video lectures on the automation part of our course. And second, how to use them in practice with the help of ChatGPT. In particular, you will delve into lectures such as XPath as a Selenium Locator with the help of ChatGPT, Test and G Assertion with the help of ChatGPT, Test Report for Selenium Java Test Script with the help of ChatGPT. The final code of each of these lectures will be available in the lecture materials, therefore, you will be able to practice using ChatGPT in order to automate the Selenium Java test case on your own. Furthermore, at the end of the course, we have prepared several more lectures on how to write and run Selenium Java test scripts with the help of ChatGPT for different features on the website such as search, sorting, etc. That's all from our site. If there are topics that you would like to see, write a comment or question to the lecture. Hope you will enjoy the course, and let's get started!